Hello. Hello. Eleanor here. Trevor here. From Topokata. Welcome to the Small Media Podcast. Again. Again. <laughs> oh, we hope. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are we talking about today, Emma? We are talking about reversing the creative decline in schools. Yes. So... So over here we've had an election. Yes. And today, that's... in fact, but it might not be the day you're listening. No, it might it not be. be. Too. <laughs> See, that's the first rule you're not supposed to say. It okay. Just in case. But yes, we're recording it on the day of the election. And the election's got us thinking about, well, the creative subjects in schools, because I think they've been neglected, haven't they, Eleanor? They have. They have indeed. And, um, oh, that was a lead into the stat, wasn't it? Yes. Oh, yeah, go for it. Yes. So I've got a stat here. It's since 2010, and this is, stat was from 20, 2023, GCSE, which is like O-level or when you're 16, basically. Yeah, um, it's just, yeah. In the UK. The take up to arts, and that includes design and tech, media, TV, film, dance, music, art, hmm. um, has declined by 47%. Almost half. I mean, that's oh, just that shocking. Sh- that, that is shocking. Oh, my goodness. So, what... But at the same time, this the latest stats on how much the arts industry brings into the economy in the UK is 124 billion so they just they're just way out of whack the amount of input that should be there for the arts in schools in education at any level should be far higher than it is it's not it shouldn't be seen as an add-on or as a luxury it's a core Mm. subject because it helps in so many ways to sit in so many other subjects as well in industries yes it's that whole thing it's about really creative thinking and how that feeds into other industries. Because, it's, I mean, it's fair enough if you know your maths and you can do all the formula, but actually without creative thought, there's lots of advances that would never have happened without creative thought. So at a very basic level, that should be encouraged mm-hmm. in schools. And a lot of the time that gets through the creative subjects, even if that isn't a subject that you end up taking on mm-hmm. into your later life. Yeah, so it's all about sort of collaboration and communication, critical thinking. Well, there's a lot of C's. Yeah, called. I think there's some more actually. Yeah. I, it makes me think of, there's a talk by Sir Ken Robinson. It's um, a famous, famous TED talk. Yeah, from 2006, I think it was. Right. He sadly died in 2020, I think. So mm. there's a sort of whole legacy foundation involved with his work. But it's been it's been viewed about 60 million times. Yeah, we'll, put, we'll put a link in the yeah, description. It's it's about do schools kill creativity? So it was a, you know, that's going to get you watching. Yes. But it's really fantastic, entertaining, but also the message was really important. He's... Yeah, he's injected a lot of humour into it uh, on a topic that is basically saying how the education system is structured to actually ignore or actually drum out creativity from children. And he's right. There's a lot of of cases, but it's got even worse over the the Mm. past few years, especially in the UK, where we've heard anecdotally and obviously through those statistics... The, the creative subjects are being ignored or actively taken out of schools yeah. to save money or because they don't really feed into the statistics that yeah. There's not as quantity. governments want to put out yeah. about yeah. Uh, results. Yeah. It's so much easier to quantify maths and sciences than it is... Um, to play some kind of judgment on... on dance <laughs> or acting or yeah. art... But they're just they're just so such a huge addition to to culture. Culture and, and a person themselves, you know, your your person's yes. whole and, and yes. your confidence and and being able to public speak. There's so many other ways that that like acting or dance comes out later in life that has helped in some way. And it's it's horrible to think that there are children who are maybe not getting picked up and put in front of these subjects that would they could flourish within yeah yeah uh 
because they they must be there must be children now wondering how they fit in you know because they don't sort of warm to some of the more well, traditional subjects yeah the academic the academic subjects then they feel like they're actually no good at school and and don't like school i mean at the moment there's a real um they say sort of a pandemic level of children not in the UK mm. not going to school. So since COVID, where obviously no one did, yeah, there's very many children now that haven't actually gone back through obviously very many different reasons. But um, and so that maybe home homeschooling is becoming more. Mm. You know those those kind of children were obviously lacking something in school. It wasn't igniting their imagination in the way it should be. No. They weren't. They didn't have the enthusiasm to go back in, and it's just be it's interesting just so to sad. yeah. Be interesting. There must be a factor in some of those children not going back. Definitely, they don't feel inspired, mm -hmm. and they don't feel it's the place for them. And that's kind of crazy. I mean, when we went, we went to Nashville, and we went to a library there. And they had a section just for the teenage section, basically. Adults weren't allowed in. Yeah, we, we had to we be had a, escorted. We had to be escorted <laughs> in to see the facilities. It was beautifully set up. Basically, for teenage years, basically, there's a gap. Where, you know, in the library, certainly, there's books for the juniors. So they have like a children's book area. And then there's a big leap to uh, the more adult sections. Yeah. Uh, so teenagers very often... I mean, the wider society are kind of ignored in terms of provisions. It's kind of awkward. There's some kind of awkward kind of... Yeah, I don't know how to deal with this, yeah. so let's not do it at all. Uh, but this, they had facilities there for those kids that meant that they could explore music. Lots of creative stuff, really, didn't they? They had keyboards and yeah, they had... filming. Filming, they had green screens. Color, editing. Yeah, they yeah. had 3D printers. So it was a chance for them to kind of explore and experiment and find what they took to yeah just find out all those things that you're never you never know about no. when you're in school and also that the fact that when it was in an area like that that all kids from all different cultures and different ages were actually mixing together to i don't know to make a film yes and that that's that's going to be it's sort of enlightening in so many ways yeah a mix of cultures yeah i mean that is brilliant isn't it I and mean, that's such a, a a useful thing for your work life later on mm. when you're trying to find a particular career for yourself i remember having a careers room you go into at school at school and you're supposed to thumb through this big book of careers and pick something out and that was going to be, you know, what are you going to do? And it just had the standard careers, you know, policeman and a lawyer and, you know, <laughs> yeah, exactly, all these. Okay. But it, you know, what I ended up doing with my career, going into visual effects and feature films and particular job title as a, a senior compositor, I, I didn't know anything about that. Compositing is basically that last stage of the effects process where you put everything together everything know, that everyone else has made everything that everything is everyone else has made visually you put it together so green screen you put a background in everything like that but that that wasn't really sort of talked it definitely wasn't talked about at school i wasn't aware of that there's so many careers in the creative industries when people are being interviewed that they just end up saying well i just fell into doing this because it's one of those you, you find a kind of really winding route. That's what happened yeah. with a lot of the model making as well. You just sort of fall into it. Yeah. So when it comes to schools, I mean, it's obviously very difficult with really tight budgets to make children aware of all the different things, all, put all those sort of different things in front of them so that they can kind of find their place. But it, it does feel very important stage of going through school because otherwise you can feel very detached thinking none of it's for you so why am i doing it it's strange that it's culture art and culture is kind of it's so shut out from schools when it's such an important part of it is the identity of a country it's a complete identity recognized by others 
Yeah. And then also when you're looking back in history, when you're it's sort of archaeologically looking back and you find like art pieces and that's how you understand how they were living quite often and yes. sort of reading into what they were you know, they they were thinking and drawing and that's the key that we've found to understand it. So we're gonna leave it there. But we're going to put lots of links in the uh, description for all the things that we've mentioned. Um, There's probably more to say on this subject, actually. So we might return to it at some point. Could well return. And also be very interested to hear what other people have to say in the comments. Yes, you can add comments if you're directed to the blog our blog page on topocata.com i'll put a link in the description so you can make comments there or if you're following us on youtube you can or yeah. subscribe on youtube obviously add comments there so we'd like to know your opinions on yes it. yeah and please do follow us on wherever you're listening yeah we're on spotify we're on <laughs> apple music we're on youtube and of course on our own site and if you want to keep up with what we're doing through the podcast and the blog please do sign up to our mailing list brilliant But for now, we're going to leave it there. Thank you very much. Thank you much for listening. (laughs) Bye. Bye. Bye.